New at five, it's one of the planet's biggest environmental problems, but now a breakthrough. Scientists with a way to break down plastics that now pollute the world's oceans. KPIX 5's Mary Lee is live at Rodeo Beach with what they've come up with. Mary? Well, Liz, imagine hundreds of pounds of trash washing ashore, but in a huge whale. Well, that actually happened right here in the Bay Area, and researchers are now turning to an innovative way to solve the problem. So all of these nets that you see hanging behind me actually come from the inside of that sperm whale stomach and allow us to start to see the issue of nets. You're looking at several plastic nets from inside this 51 foot long sperm whale that washed ashore to Mollus Point in Point Reyes National Seashore. The whale died after ingesting 450 pounds of ocean trash. The Marine Mammal Center wants to bring awareness to all the plastic pollution in the Pacific Ocean with what they call the ghost net monster. They say they treat 10 to 20 animals every year who are either injured or have ingested ocean garbage. So whether it's a sea lion that we have at the hospital right now named Tyrell that had a plastic packing strap around its neck or animals that have ingested balloons is unfortunately something we do see here in the Bay Area. Researchers at the University of Portsmouth in Great Britain may have come up with a solution. They figured out a way for a natural enzyme to digest strong plastic commonly used in bottles. What's really special about this enzyme, it digests something man-made. Look very closely. These images were magnified and sped up to show the enzyme breaking down the plastic into its two key ingredients. Uh, most enzymes are uh, digesting, you know, maybe grass stains or things like that in your clothing. But this material has only existed for the last 50 years. So to have an enzyme evolved that actually eats this man made material is really stunning. It usually takes decades, if not centuries, for plastic bottles to break down. This process takes just a few days. But environmentalists say there's still a long way to go since the enzyme only works on one type of plastic. Scientists are now working to improve the enzyme so that it works on a large scale. The U.S. Department of Energy partnered with the University of Portsmouth on the discovery, and hopefully it will help. Reporting live in Wren County, I'm Mary Lee, KPIX 5. Liz? All right, Mary, thank you.